At some point in our lives, we must have seen a couple of zombie movies that must have scared the life out of us. For a while, this has remained in the world of science fiction, just a figment of the imagination. But what if you realize that this isn't just going to be fiction anymore? Contrary to popular belief, instead of having biologically broken humans, we might have just created machines that will do exactly that. Well, just tag along for a minute. ITER is a biofueled robot that's being developed by Robotic Technology Incorporated for military purposes. Robotic Technology Incorporated, or RTI, is a Maryland, USA-based corporation founded in 1985, notable for providing systems and services in the fields of intelligence systems, robotic vehicles, robotics and automation, weapon systems, intelligent control systems, intelligent transportation systems, intelligent manufacturing, and other advanced technology for government, industry, and not-for-profit clients. RTI services are known to include technical analyses, technology assessment and forecasting, business development, and other professional services. The company also develops a variety of products, including intelligent systems for controlling complex systems of systems and serving as decision tools for human decision makers, and autonomous intelligent robots and vehicles for military and civil applications. RTI's products and services are used by a wide range of customers, including the U.S. Department of Defense, NASA, and various commercial and industrial companies. The company has a strong track record of innovation and technological excellence, and is considered to be one of the leading companies in the field of robotics and intelligent systems. Over the years, They've done some remarkable projects that have been used in different sectors, spanning even up to space exploration. They're credited with the development of the robotic rover for the NASA Mars Exploration Rover Mission, intelligent control systems for unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, designing intelligent transportation systems for traffic management and congestion relief, and the development of autonomous ground vehicle for the U.S. Army's Future Combat Systems Program, which ITER is a part of. From the information on the company's website, the idea for ITER originated as far back as 2003 and has since been under development. The project is expected to hit Phase 2 this year which is the enhancement and is even projected to hit the commercialization phase too. According to public documents, ITER is being designed to be able to carry out missions that might span for a long period of time, without actually requiring the conventional fueling or charging methods that are used for other robots, and they have a paper published in this regard. According to the paper, the system obtains its energy by foraging, engaging in biologically inspired, organism-like, energy harvesting behavior, which is the equivalent of eating. It can find, ingest, and extract energy from biomass in the environment and other organically based energy sources, as well as use conventional and alternative fuels, such as gasoline, heavy fuel, kerosene, diesel, propane, coal, cooking oil, and solar when suitable. This has generated a lot of concerns on the internet for some obvious reasons. Since these are designed to feed off biomass, what's the limit to what it can feed on? To heat up the matter more, the robot is being designed in conjunction with the Department of Defense, which hints at the robot being developed for military use during long-range missions that span over a period of time. It's also been designed to have autonomous operation meaning that this robot will be fitted with an AI model of some sort. The possibility of this robot feeding off flesh, and by extension, human flesh, has generated heavy criticism from people all around the world. At the moment, we're still having talks on how to prevent modern-day AI from going rogue, and the addition of a zombie-like robot in the equation raises the risk by quite a large margin. Like, what happens maybe when these robots run out of grass, animals, or even human corpses to feed on in the vicinity it's been deployed? What are the chances they won't turn on the living just to keep going? This has generated quite an outrage from a lot of people that even the celebrity podcast host Joe Rogan has had something to say about the matter. While Rogan was speaking on the matter, he described robots generally as being non-human and unfeeling. 
At the moment, there are heated talks about how far AI is going and what implications it would have on the general human population. And I can tell you for free that there's nothing particularly glamorous about this future of humans and robots. In the case of robots being unfeeling, scientists and researchers are projecting that we might soon reach a level where robots will become sentient. In fact, some believe that they have technologies behind the scene that has achieved this. The problem now is, being sentient doesn't guarantee that they will start having feelings for the preservation of humans. No one knows exactly how this is going to turn out at the moment. AI has progressed over the years from a single purpose system to modern day general purpose AI systems. And we're not stopping yet. Experts are projecting that we will be reaching AGI by the decade. And after all, ASI is still very much in view, followed by a possible singularity. The major worry across the community is what will become of humans if AI reaches singularity. As more intelligent beings, the risk is that they might not have any need for humans after all. Adding a flesh-eating robot to the equation at the moment might not really be a good idea. So far, the announcement of the Eater robot has generated a lot of concern. WeAreTheMighty.com has an article published on the matter titled, the military made a robot that can eat organisms for fuel. According to them, the Energetically Autonomous Tactical Robot, or Eater, is a robot that was designed to be able to scavenge for food and use it for fuel. They describe Eater as a small, six-wheeled robot that's equipped with a variety of sensors, including cameras, microphones, and infrared sensors. It also had a robotic arm that could be used to collect food. The Eater is designed to be able to eat a variety of organic materials, including plants, animals, and even human waste. When you go through the paper published by Robotic Technology Inc., you'll discover that the robot has been designed to be what UAVs are, but on land, more like a UGV. For those of you who might not already know, UAV is short for Unmanned Aerial Vehicles, which is used to describe drones that are used by military for different operations that require surveillance for long periods. They're normally powered by solar energy, giving them infinite work time. Ground vehicles can't totally depend on solar energy due to various factors that might render them inefficient at some point. So developing a machine that can make use of biomaterials for fuel seems like a better option. That way, they can run for long periods without any need to stop. The disturbing thing is that in the paper, the developers mentioned that the machine will be trained to identify non-biological materials and differentiate them from biological ones. The technical objectives as described in the paper. The project will demonstrate the ability of the eater to 1. Identify suitable biomass sources of energy and distinguish those sources from unsuitable materials as in wood grass or paper from rocks, metal or glass. Two, spatially locate and manipulate the sources of energy to cut or shred to size, grasp, lift, and ingest. And three, convert the biomass to sufficient electrical energy to power the eater's subsystems. Although there's no mention of animals here, the description seems a bit vague, hinting at having more to it. According to available information, the Eater hasn't been deployed in the field just yet, and its development is still being processed. However, the Eater is a significant development in the field of robotics, and it demonstrates the potential for robots to be able to operate autonomously and without the need for human intervention. The outrage we've seen from the public about Eater discusses the ethical implications of developing robots that develop. The outrage we've seen from the public about Eater discusses the ethical implications of developing robots that can develop the ability to eat humans. In terms of AI development, things don't always work as planned. So many have argued that while the Eater might have never been designed to eat humans, it's very much possible that such robots could develop such ability in the future as one of their emergent capabilities. Even experts and the masses at large believe it's really important to consider the ethical implications of developing such robots before they're deployed. AI-powered systems are definitely the future for different sectors in the world today. As a result, this widespread of such sophisticated systems has become a thing of serious concern for humans. Whether or not we can get some control over these things in the near future remains to be seen. That'll be all for this episode and we'll see you in the next one.